Hi, this is Phil Beach here to do a quick educational segment on what is data loss prevention. It's commonly abbreviated in the industry as DLP. Data loss prevention is a technology uh, that attempts to prevent and or monitor the accidental or intentional leak of your business data. Now, I wanna just call out a couple of things in this definition. First of all, it's an attempt. DLP is not perfect. The better that you plan out and build the system, the better of a job it's gonna do to actually prevent those leaks. The other thing I wanna mention is that not only does it prevent, in some cases, you may just want to monitor or be informed if information uh, leaves the company so that you can then do a more detailed investigation after that. The other thing to note is that sometimes people are trying to get data out of the company intentionally and sometimes it's a mistake. And so DLP can help you to, uh, to identify um, events and incidents in either case. Some examples of DLP, for example, you might want to block USB thumb drives across your organization so that if an employee plugs in a thumb drive or a bad actor, uh, nothing happens. It doesn't work. Another example is that you might want to automatically block emails from sending if they contain certain information. So let's say I, I draft an email and I attach a Word doc, but I, I forgot that that Word doc includes some sensitive information. My DLP program could be configured to automatically detect that sensitive information and then block that email from sending. Another example is maybe I want to control a document that contains certain sensitive information. Um, email blocking that we just mentioned is, is an example of this, but you could also prevent documents from being moved into a SharePoint site, for example, or, or being added or being uploaded to a cloud drive. So uh, those are other examples. I do want to note that for any of these examples, if your preference, uh, it, most DLP programs will support simply alerting and logging on the activity uh, rather than blocking it. So you have that audit log to look and see what's been done, but you might not necessarily want to block it. Some use case examples of DLP as a HIPAA covered entity uh, where HIPAA law applies to your organization, you want to add another layer to safeguard against a breach of electronic patient health information. It's a really good use case for DLP. Another is as the chief technology officer of a manufacturer with a high value company, um, with a company that has high value proprietary information, you might want to have peace of mind that data is not casually left the company. Another use case is that in a financial services firm, you might want to be alerted if one of your employees copies sensitive data uh, to a USB thumb drive. And again, you could potentially be alerted and logged not only that it happened, but also what specific files were moved depending on the DLP program you implemented. Just a quick note on Navitend, our mission is to deliver predictably awesome IT experiences, and we offer a variety of services to, to businesses to help achieve that. Thank you.